Greetings and salutations, I'm Ken. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Sid Meier's Colonization. <sighs> Unit cap, grr. Limitations of all games. Then again, I, I know the game wasn't designed to play like this. <laughs> I was supposed to declare independence like 50 years ago, and more than that actually. And that's how the game is designed. You're supposed to declare independence before uh, your fellow Europeans. Ooh, that privateer finally decided to stop and get killed, hopefully. Get the ore miner. Uh. So we'll see. I'll be spending a lot of time now just basically ferrying units between my two... Uh, my new colonists, colonies, where they're growing population. And the other side. Where they're spend where they're training them. Aruba couldn't train anyone, I think. No, you don't have any special skills. Paraiba, same thing. Yeah. I'm gonna smash out colony colonists, but... Uh, can't train them here. Uh, you don't... You do have the... Uh, the. You do have the. Okay. A custom house. There we go. Yeah, that's, one. that's the one I was looking for. Oh, St. Justatius doesn't actually have a market house. Uh, you got a population, on, you can't train them. Sink it, sink it! No, dang it. You don't have a custom house. Well, they're gonna get it, okay. That's fine. Eventually you'll make me money. Um, you can dump those tools and you can load up on timber and go back to the uh, forest free settlement in New Amsterdam. I'm gonna train you. You're here to dump guns. Uh, yeah, unload cargo. Please. And I believe Recif was full of guns. Are you sending any units? Maybe they can't, for all I know. You cleared that, you're just gonna make a road on the other one there too, I think. First, I'm going to clear these two units off the map before. <laughs> uh, that means you're going to go outside, get a proper education some, of some sort. Gonna start a modest sugar industry here. Then there were you. Uh, Fort Orange should already be training people. So I need you here. Um, Stay off the map, would you? You're gonna get a proper education once these two are fully trained. Yeah, we're gonna do a clear cutting here. Clear everything. And here I'm gonna keep three of you. Uh, I think. We're already training tobacco planters in Blissingen, yes. And there aren't that many tobacco places left. Yeah, these other ones are probably gonna be making tobacco and we'll try to reserve the uh, cotton industry for the northern ones. Just to spread out the uh, cargo a little bit. Which means we Probably could use another tobacco team. Yes, yeah, two of you head south and start training immediately. Or retraining, rather. Yeah, 
you're gonna finish your training before the city starts. I'm fairly certain of that. Uh, but there's no nearby place for you guys to train. Um, <laughs> they're already stocked up. You just... Yeah, I need, I need you off the map. At least for now. Fort Nassau is still training preachers. Recif is training preachers. Uh, Lissing was training something else. They can't train anything down here. I guess we'll just have to go over there and wait. Might as well stockpile them in New Amsterdam. It's easier to distribute them from there. This is gonna get a few units off the map too. Oh dear lord. Stop with the music! There we go. You can go here. Head north. I need you to just be in your Amsterdam and redistribute you from that place. You are gonna train, make fur, but wear or fur coats. Aruba is a good choice, I suppose. So is this place. Uh, I don't want to go further. Aruba is going to be busy with building the fort, but they're almost done. Okay, fine. Go to Aruba. Go to Aruba. And this guy, I wonder why, how, why... Is he stuck there? He hasn't moved out for a long time. Are you on the other end go the other direction. I want to Bahia and get an education. You just had... Say, well then, start. you have a schoolhouse. But not a fur trader, fur, not a fur trapper. Okay, never mind. You guys have to head that way. Okay, let's see if that works. Need to try to keep the map clear. But it looks like we're gonna get generate uh, uh, one colonist by crosses every two turns now, or three turns. It actually has to hit the far cap and then it carries over to the next turn, I think. No, we're not going to train any units. Uh, we did not generate another one. That's fine, just get him over there. Don't dare wait any longer. Oh, actually, we could train on the farmer. You just go there, train. Uh, where else? Into stables. Utrecht? No, he's not going to be trained locally. He's going to go east. Okay, a church and then a custom house. Uh, yeah, he's gonna head out to two. Fort is ready in Aruba. Ar Arumba. I'm gonna keep saying that. Aruba. For some reason, I. Yeah. Uh, custom house. Yeah, sure. For you to build a custom house. And you need. Yeah, that's fine. Same thing here. 
Uh, you can't train him locally. Nope, you can't. As a Kibo, same thing. We don't have a college yet. Now, what do you have here, by the way? Grassland marshes. You can actually become quite a nice little tobacco town. Uh, okay, no tools available. Oh. Yeah, Pernambuco. How long until the custom house? Okay. Just see if I can get a wagon train down there. Precious, precious rum. Well, semi-precious. With the with the tax cut, it's only costing. It's only going. We're only going to get a tiny percentage of it. Sadly, um, we also fall on tools. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. Be line down there. Still, that drum is the most valuable cargo we have, so... We might want to try to preserve it. I really would like to get roads going up there, but... We can't. All our... Pioneers are kind of busy. They're getting there, though. Okay, so none of these were finished their education this turn. Uh, you know, just stay in New Amsterdam for now. So I can just dispatch you. When the time comes. And I think that one is basically stuck there. Can't find a way out. What happened there? What's... Beneath. Oh, it's just. Oh. I was wondering if there's. If a new resource had popped up there. Because I saw th something behind the fur trader. But of course, it's a city name. Ugh. Me being dumb. Yeah, go to New Amsterdam. Basically, stay there and be ready to be redistributed. Or maybe. We are gonna need more troops, too. Um, yeah, yeah, you were kicked out. Get back and get an education, please. And so Kibo still doesn't have an education facility, so... Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of colonists moving just back and forth here. But Hopefully the map cap will be gentle. Yeah, so it looks like the crosses will only trigger every three turns now. Uh, and of course we're generating tons of people by food, but that's gonna be a problem since we can't put them to work fast enough. So without the map cap, we'd actually be, we could generate tons and tons and tons of people, but uh, with the map cap, that's not going to be possible. We, I, again, I should have killed... Again, the solution is to basically wipe out the, the your fellow Europeans and the natives. <laughs> well, the natives wouldn't give you that much, but uh, wiping out the fellow Europeans, if you want to generate a zillion tons of score, that's what you'll have to do. Both to oppress them uh, and to uh, free yourself from the map cap. Oh, Harlem could actually do something. Um, there we go, custom house there. You sell everything in the lumber. Uh, well, we are going to start some cotton industry at some point, so a weaver, weaver shop is definitely something you need. Air train the fur trapper just in time for a new colonist. Um, 
And one of them is going to be local. I think. You're not clear, you. Out. There we go. Yeah, they might as well work for crosses. The Liberty Belts won't do anything. Um, yeah, let's try to make a little bit of fur here. I'll get the warehouse expansion just so we can store more horses. Oh yeah, uh, you are not you have not been set to sell the lumber. There we go. But I've finished the expansion. Very good. Uh. Broadleaf, broadleaf. You're gonna be making fur and you're gonna be making uh, cotton eventually. Probably. Definitely gonna need a weaver shop here. Um, Rover is still educating people. So I can't really use you for anything either. Yeah, you produce another artillery piece, and it's actually gonna go on the map. <laughs> Finally, uh, you're here to just—you came here just in time, just as you ran out of the lumber. Good timing. But now we have to head back along an area where there's no roads. Pernambuco, I have to do that before I forget. Unload, unload. And load. Yeah, so we are at war, but they don't seem to actually be heading our way, so that's fine. Your other tools, uh, St. Martin, no one up here has tools. I don't think Blissingen has a stockpile either. No, not anymore. Now hard I'm trying to train a dude. Uh, could make him into a farm, but I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna send them and get a proper education. We got tons of farmers here. If it weren't for the map cap, grr. If it weren't for the map cap, things would be would be so much better. And you're just waiting for someone to finish their education, really. So that you can take their place. I just had to sit there and wait. I mean, I'm gonna be paranoid about the map cap for the rest of the darn game. That's the annoying part. Well, you know, that's uh, fine. At this point, I'm almost afraid of develop getting too many colonists. Uh, I have no idea which of them is training, but that's okay. There you go. You just wait. And since there are a lack of Europeans coming our way, I guess I'm gonna go and have to kill some Indians. And train more troops that way. Need to build a road surface here somewhere. Huh. Uh, Fort Orange should already have two fertility pieces, yeah. You fortify the northern shore. on the dock, that's fine. Just gonna ferry my galleons back and forth and pick the people up as, as we go. Oh, that uh, native finally moved. Thought it was dock there. I 
No, I can't make peace unless I actually go down there. I fear. And... Uh, yeah, they won't actually get the uh, meeting fanfare. Either. We've seen that bug out so many times now. They show up and they get the fanfare for the automatic encounter, but we don't actually get the meeting. Uh, Willemstadt cannot train a fur trader because you don't have one. Um, so yeah, you're gonna leave as well. I might have just have to kill those uh, Indian converts because they represent one point less than a free colonist. That's min maxing, I know, but uh, yeah, go with the warehouse expansion so we can store more horses. We could use a fortress here actually, since it is coastal. I kind of need to get all the industries going, and the warehouses and everything. We need to store horses more than... I think we need the horses more. Um, because the whole gambit is going to be that we're going to try to kick them out of... Uh, kick, kick them out of the... kick them while they're still on the shore. The rum factory? Yeah, probably. One of you became an educated into fur trading. Uh, no idea which one. That's okay. Leave. We have several preachers and a fort. Uh, fortress would basically be an ego thing. I don't think we're gonna be attacked in the back here. So, make more artillery. The artillery counts as units on the map, and uh, oh. normally I want artillery in every single colony, and I want uh, defending troops as well. But we're, with the map cap, we're kind of screwed in that regard. Um, I'm gonna wait with putting them on the map. Here we need to finish the university, so there we go. Uh, same thing here. <laughs> they are finished, so I don't have, have to remember this now, but... To, you could ship timber up there, but now you're gonna go back this way. And help our colonists, colonies, colonies, colon, colonoscopies. Uh, need to build roads. Need to build many things. You need tools. Finish that road between there. Probably still can. Uh, that should be all the squares here, right? Yeah. That's actually the case. Okay, go down to Bonaire. Bonaire is gonna have... Yeah, we're gonna cut on this one. But we're gonna have roads on the rest. Keep those forests going. Here we are doing a clear cut, I think. Yeah. Need to get cotton planting going. Okay, it was Recif, was it, that finished their preachers? Yeah, so I'm gonna send three units up to Recif. That's two so far. And we're gonna toss these guys out on the map if we can. There we 
we go. And the other one was in all the way down there, wasn't it? Yeah, okay, so do I have anyone close by? You are close by. You go there. And that farmer. You go there. Yeah, so if you play on a game with that doesn't have that unit cap, you can definitely uh, spawn a billion farmers and get a zillion colonists rather easily. Um, but I need to turn some of these into soldiers because we kind of need troops too. And I need to start ferrying uh, horses between the colonies too, so... Uh, so we can equalize the number of horses. And stockpile them. Did you arrive here, or were you actually gonna go somewhere else? You're gonna go somewhere else, right. Uh, Willemstadt already has the farmers they were gonna get. No, we're going to train this one into something else. Turn that into something else. So you know what? Go to Wilhelmstadt, that's fine. Eventually we're going to fix that. Uh, so you'd have to leave Wilhelmstadt, that's fine. And you're still waiting for some opening. On the bright side, we now have a college or in St. Martin, so once we get one uh, Weaver team ready, we can send them here, we can train another Weaver team there, and start getting all these areas. Uh, turn all these areas into something money productive. And then I'll undoubtedly hit some money cap too. Bound to happen. <laughs> there must be more caps. For now though, I think I'm, I think I'm going to take another short break. Thank you for watching.